All right, this video I'm going to show you how to remote into your Power SDR Flex radio from anywhere outside your home uh, with a built in program called Remote Desktop Connection. It comes with every Windows for free. Just the only caveat is both computers have to be running Windows, a real copy of Windows. So, this is the local computer. And first thing we want to do is open up your router and you're going to want to single port forward port 3389 to the IP address, the local IP address of your local computer. And then when you're done with that, you're going to want to go to your uh, system settings, advanced system settings, remote. select users and I'm going to use the, my main account to log in so the password will be the same password I used to log into my computer in the first place. Close that out. Now this computer is all set. Alright so on the remote computer you're going to look for a remote desktop which is built in to Windows. You can search for it and then put the shortcut on the desktop. Now in this instant I use the local IP address of my local computer and uh, I put it in there but when I operate remotely I have something uh, called uh, uh, noip.com where they give you a free static URL which links to your IP address of your uh, router coming into your home and I uh, use that and that's why you port forwarded uh, port 3389 to the IP of your local computer so anyway so what we're going to do here is you type in the computer you can put in the username and it'll ask you for a password the first time you use it set up your display large you know you want to say bandwidth so you don't need 32-bit color turn off printers and clipboard settings though you want to select the record from this computer and uh, play on this computer then experience you can select the quality and some of the settings to save on bandwidth I just kind of leave all that alone when you're ready hit connect logs you off the local computer so nobody can use that. Here it is. There's your Power SDR running remotely anywhere you want. Okay, so I created a transmit profile called Remote. And what it does is it enables VAC2. I choose VAC2 to do the job rather than VAC1 because VAC1 I, I keep connected to the virtual audio cables for my digital modes. So I use VAC2 for what I'll show you here. VAC2, I got a driver MME, selected uh, Microsoft Sound Mapper input and output. You can play with the gain on these depending upon how your computer works. But VAC1 is normally my virtual audio cable, so I just leave that alone. Primary, I select a sample rate lower than the 192. K that I normally have it set at just to reduce the bandwidth and for the transmit profile the remote because I'm VAC2 is enabled automatically will use the microphone that I have plugged in little headset I've got plugged in to the computer so because I'm using VAC2 though the caveat is I have to go up uh, enable the VFO sync change my transmit over to VFOB because that's what VAC2 is going to do. Anyway, so now I can hit the start button and now I'm operating remotely. manually 
evaporate. It'll key the radio. Hello, one, two, three. Root test. Um, remotely operating.